a program the way are, but not coming on Saturday and we practice what we are going to be doing the following day. At times we are caught up with what are we going to be presenting tomorrow. We come, we practice everything, we, we put everything how it's going to be, and we come the following day, we still, it's going to be like this and like this. So already we know what's going to be there. We should be people led by the Spirit of God. We don't know what's going to happen there, yeah. but we are going with an open heart. Not saying that we should. We are not saying that we shouldn't get on Saturday to practice and whatever. But I'm saying it's more of a new thing. It's a new life. God wants to do more things in when we get together. That one who has a song, has a dream, has a revelation, has anything. That that, that this body is not built on one manner, but it's built on the fullness, full word of God. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to see the church functioning in the cooperative breaking of bread and having their meals together. That was a practice of the church. Together having their meals and breaking of bread. And the first church was persecuted because they truly believed that the bread and the and the, the bread and the drink was the real blood of Jesus. So the, the first church were entered into persecution because they said those people when they they're eating the, the the body of a human being. And they, they meant it what they believed. Guess what happened? The power of God was so vivid in the community that even people were bringing the dead, I mean the sick people, that the shadow of Peter may touch them. And you don't see in any of us where Peter is saying, yes, I am the man. <laughs> Come and see. I have you the other one. I have you the other one. And then, no. He's saying, every time he's saying, he's saying, it's Jesus, right. see, Amen. whom you crucified, That's right. God raised him from the dead, yeah. and he's coming. Amen. So they were preaching simple message because they really understood who Jesus was. They never pre- puffed up. They say, hey, we guys, we are doing this. We are doing this in the city. It was just all about him, Jesus. So that an amazing family or church of which we are part of is being raised now. Because the Bible is clear that the first church, this last church is going to be more stronger, glorious than the first church. So the first church is that one, which was the church of the apostles, how they functioned. So God's now just connecting us together, taking us back into the apostolic company, taking us into the apostolic church. It means we are sent. We have a mission in this city. There's a mission. And the mission is... To, 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 to remind people the foundations. And when we get back to the foundation, we are going to see incredible miracles, signs and wonders God can do. As really I've, this is really what I, I, I come to realize in my city, in Uganda. I've been working, I've been working closely with many churches, many pastors. In our community, we have over like 45 or or 60 denominational pastors. But many of them, they are saying, we are tired. We don't see, we have run with these things, but inside of them, they are are burned out because how they handle with the, the house of God. This is not money's business. This is all about the Lord. So the Lord is re- the Lord is restoring up the fivefold. The, the, the apostles are fathers. Let's say the apostles are fathers. So the fathers they know the blueprint. The Bible talks about First Timothy two, First Timothy two. No, sorry, First John two, fourteen. I'm writing to you, fathers. First Timothy, First John. Sorry, First John chapter two, verse fourteen. I'm writing to you fathers because you have known him from the beginning what is the purpose of God that we may be conformed so the true gospel is bringing the church to the right picture of really becoming the sons of God through knowing that Jesus is the son of God we can only experience our sonship through Christ, the firstborn. So the plan is all about restoration of the house of, of, of the church. Mm-hmm. 
countrywide, wa worldwide, there is a, a spirit of the Lord crying, raise, 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 towering, a righteous spirit, mm. calling up sons, calling up people to come and look into the foundation and consider the ways of the church and say, hey, now we can work together, we can do something to build the house, which is we, to build the house on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. These are the fathers. They can carry the, 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 the mysteries. They know the mysteries of the kingdom. So the mysteries of the kingdom, the true gospel is about transformation. It's about change. And you live, a, uh, we live a changed life. And I have a testimony that I have seen God in my country has given us the grace, as I said, that we are given the grace. I have seen the grace that the Lord is restoring the church, basically beginning from our homes. Because if there's no Christ, there's no church in our house, we can't have church in any building. Otherwise, if we have any church in the building, but not birthed from our homes, then we are having a performance. Because until it's built from our household, from our homes, because that's where we spend most of our time. We swear, what do we do in our homes? If there's no church, because we are the church, there's no church in the house, then you want to take the church in the building or in the city, then that church is inactive. It's not strong because it has left the homes. So that's why you see that the first church were going house to house and, and the temple, house to house, getting the word of God. Each one of us can share from that small setup and then we, we can change. Jesus had 12 apostles and he trusted with them. He said, all authority is given to me. I give it to you. Go. And they turned the world upside down. How many are we in this nation or in the world? They are people of God. And I'm telling you, God is in the business this moment of reconnecting or connecting the apostolic wing. The apostolic people who are sent, people with their heart, they see how America began. They see how Uganda began. They know the blueprint, what God is building. And we are going to partner with him. And I'm telling you, quickly, we are going to be connecting and connecting and connecting. Then after bringing all this camp together, we are going to raise up, raising up sons, daughters, raising up a team. And that army is to prepare him to come. Where he is coming. And what is he coming for? He's coming for the harvest. Right. They don't harvest babies, they harvest mature ones. So our father is coming for the harvest, and we are going to be ready when he gets here. Through the word of God. And when he gets here, we are going where? We are going to spend him in eternity, forever and ever. The restoration of new earth, and the restoration of the new heavens. Together. Man can be in a place where there is new earth, and there is new heaven being put together because that was the prayer of just Christ. Amen. And he was teaching us to pray those prayers in that our Father who art in heaven, we are no longer orphans. Two, let your kingdom come. God wants and desires to see earth and heaven put together. Not this former earth and not this former heaven, but there is a new one coming. And what is important now is to have a deep relationship with Jesus Christ. So that when he gets here, we are sure of eternity to spend time forever and ever with him. That's my message this today, and I would like to pray. Refreshing on this word, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's my prayer that we may be sure that we are building on the true foundation. Father, when we are laying the foundation, things become hard. And Father, in every house we see around, you can only see the foundation. Father, we are not coming up by puffing out so that say we are a group of an apostles. We have all the, the, the must wise builder. 
because the foundation is many times not seen, but the roofing, the ending can be seen. Father, we pray that we may realize and we may find our, our fittings in the body of Christ. That now you are raising up an army, raising up a team, raising up a team of yes, fathers, Lord. raising up a team of sons. Yes, Lord. That is the heart you have from the beginning. That we are sons. We are servants and sons. We have a belonging in the house of God. We have a part. And Father, you said that in my father's house, there are many mansions. For there are many looms. There are many presses in you, Christ. We found a lot of homes inside of you, Jesus Christ. I pray for this house. I pray for these people. The work they have begun in this community. It may look to be a bit different from other people's work. It may be different from what other people are building. Father, we have been churches. We have seen churches. People have done out of things in church. But we pray that these people may really understand yes. what you are building in this community. Yes. Father, you are bringing up our families together to understand the apostolic restoration of the work. And Lord, as you are joining and putting our heart together, I pray the anointing of God. I'm praying for people that they are going to come to find their feet in this fellowship. I'm praying, Lord, that they may realize not being enticed, not being seduced to come. But we are praying that you know this ministry in this community. We pray in the name of Jesus that let no one who has to come, let no one miss this opportunity you are giving. Father, we are praying for Apostle William and his wife. You've given them grace, the grace of their apostleship, that they may build according to the pattern that they have seen you building from the beginning. And we are praying for each and every one that this community, this nation, begin to realize the true foundation is Jesus Christ. I pray, trusting you, for great deliverance, great healing over this house. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Bates, as you come. <laughs> So the good the good thing has come and the good thing is gonna go forward, which is the word of God.